Then now you ask Roman 2. Determine the maximum selling price of product Y at which the, sell, the solution in B1 above would still remain optimal. The question is, how do we change the price of Y and without changing the solution? Solution here, I mean production of X and Y, 40 and 20. Now, what we do, we look at the gradient. First of all, coming up with the isoprofit line, this line here, 80X plus 60Y, it can give us a straight line, of course. Like if, you, if, if X is zero, then you can have maybe, you can take a tentative, tentatively um, objective function value. Like now, if our value is coming to 4,400, so you can tell if the production of X is not there, then of course it's like a 4,400 divided by 60 to get the number of units. Same case with Y, uh, to, to X that is. What I mean is you can come up with a line, a line of uh, the optimal or objective function. Now, if you take a figure that can be divided clearly, like now let me take uh, 3,200, let's just assume. So, uh, assume a trial objective function value of the 200. First of all, why I'm taking the 200, I must take a figure that is lesser than the objective one, which is 4,400. The point is this. This point is giving us uh, 3,000. This point B is giving us 4,000. This point C is giving us 44. And point D is giving us 4,000. Automatically, the 200 will be inside the feasible region inside because if I give a figure higher than this it will be outside I want what is within the feasible region that's why I'm giving a trial objective function value and I'm guessing a figure of the 200 of course with, with my guessing is because I want to ensure that uh, this can be divided 60, 60 and 80 I guess can be divided uh, very well uh, when it comes to that 200 now <clears throat> If I determine X and Y, like now, if I don't want to produce X, if X is zero, then Y shall be what? If I take that two, that 200, I divide by the profit of Y, which is 60, divided by 60, then this will give me a 53 factor that was not uh, divisible, uh, but we can have what? Uh, this is... Um, 80 times 60 is 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 would have been, uh, would work. It's 24 here. 24 is better because it is, can be divisible instead of um, that 200. So if I say uh, this is uh, 80, is, uh, x is 0. But y will be 60. So for 2400, 2400, I divide by 60. This will give me 40. So this will be 40y. And then I come to y. If y is 0, of course, now I'll divide by 80. 2400 divided by 80. This give me 30. Now what it means, I can come up with a line which is 30 against 40. And this is what I'm calling the trial objective. So this is 40 for y and 30 for x. 40 is here for y and 30. 30 is in between here. Let me see. So here, 70 and 60 between is here. So that's 30. So I have now y is 40 and x is 30. Huh. So this is what I mean. Now this line is what I'm calling the trial objective uh, function value or either 
we can call it as iso profit let me just call it as or iso profit line iso profit line now it has its own gradient you can see the gradient here compared to the other lines they have different gradients all of them different gradients or what called slope slope is different but this is also different but now what we say is should you change the gradient of your iso profit line to be a gradient of any of the limiting factor resource we have which resources we have a material labor and packaging maybe one of them is not limiting for example like if you take the objective uh, point which is c this point c it is made up of only two uh, factors or only two resources made up of labor and materials only those two meaning at this point the two are exhausted but the packaging is so high package is here we still have a reserve of packaging a reserve of packaging but the two are limited meaning they have they, meet, they, they, they intersect here. They intersect. So the two are eligible. You can try to change your slope of the ISO profit line to match that of labor or match that of material. And for material seems to be, uh, is, these two are not that badly off, the ISO profit and the material. Now that means since the two are not badly off, you just need to tilt. You tilt the ISO profit line a bit and it will match that of material but for labor again you have to tilt it up here you tilt it so that it can match that of uh, labor so any of the two we, we can allow so our position is this now if we can form let me now use this uh, space to explain that 